Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today we're going to look at Nifty 50 analysis. It's been quite a long time since I posted my analysis in Nifty. And uh, just a quick recap. So earlier we posted somewhere around uh, three months back. So our buy prediction was somewhere around 17,550 to 560, somewhere around that point. And uh, that was our earlier prediction. And from there, Nifty rose up almost uh, close to 2010 points. So 2010 points was a rise in Nifty just for the short span of three months, right? So uh, that's almost 11.44 percentage rise in Nifty and just for the short span of three months. And this was an earlier prediction. So in case if you missed uh, the earlier prediction, right now we have one more, uh, you know, good opportunity, good uh, technical pattern that is formed in Nifty as well. And that is what we are going to look in today's video. And uh, just a short disclaimer, please don't uh, skip this video and uh, watch till the very end because I'm going to clearly explain when uh, you know you need to take a sell trade. So this is a sell trade in Nifty and there are some characteristics that need to be fulfilled uh, before we can enter into the particular uh, sell trade. So just watch this video till the very end so that you understand when you need to, when you need to take the sell trade and when you uh, you know when the trade is actually invalid. So those details I'll be clearly explaining this video. So watch till the very end and don't skip the video. Okay, so I'm switching over to a daily time frame. So this is a daily time frame over here, and this is how Nifty uh, chart looks in a daily time frame. So this was a previous high. So this was a previous all-time high in Nifty, and I'm marking it in red. So this is a previous all-time high in Nifty, and as on. Uh, 28th of June, we have a clear cut break of the Nifty, right? So on 20th of June, Nifty broke the all time high, and uh, right now the all time high is somewhere around 19,595. And from the previous high till uh, now, the Nifty has almost rose up to almost 688 points. So that's basically a 3.6 percentage rise in Nifty from the previous all time high. So so before we get into the technical pattern, I just want to explain a few concepts. So this is the rise in Nifty. So uh, from 16,900 Nifty rose all the way high till 17,860. And for this rise in Nifty, we have a small retracement over here, right? So this retracement is basically uh, the after effects of this bullish move in Nifty. And from here, Nifty rose up almost uh, close to 1,000 points once again. So from 17,500 till 18,400, so that's almost 900 points nine, uh, rise in Nifty. And for this particular up move, Nifty gave a small retracement over here. So this three red candles is going to act as a retracement. And from here, Nifty rose up all the way high till 18,880. And for that, a small retracement over here. Right, so from here, uh, that is from 18,600, uh, Nifty rose up all the way high till 19,590. So from here, we need to expect a short amount of retracement. So that is what we are going to catch in this particular, that is what we are going to look in this particular video. And that is what we are going to catch in the coming few weeks as well. Okay, so this is the all-time high in Nifty, and this particular uh, this particular red line indicates the previous all-time high in Nifty. Okay, so if you watched many of my earlier videos, I would have mentioned that uh, in case of uh, a bullish move is occurring, then uh, the stock has to make some sort of retest. Right. So in case uh, if a breakout is happening in any particular stock, 60 to 70 percentage of the times the stock is going to, will give a retest. So that is the basic characteristics of the stock. So coming to Nifty also, the same concept is going to happen over here because uh, let's look at the fact. Nifty 50 is a combination of 50 most top uh, companies in India in different uh, sectors. Right. So that is that said, Nifty 50 is also a collaboration of 50 stocks. So basically, Nifty 50 also has to be considered as a stock. It's a, it also has to consider, it also has to be considered as a stock, and it also should, you know, respect the characteristics of uh, the stocks as well. So, for this up move over here, we can expect a small amount of retracement in Nifty. So that is what we are going to catch, and I'm switching over to one hour time frame to show exactly what is going to happen in the coming few weeks. Okay. So this is a one-hour time frame in Nifty, and uh, if you look over here, this is the this is the zone that we are going to analyze. And if carefully looked into it, we can see that Nifty is actually trading in a wedge pattern. So this is a wedge pattern over here that I see in Nifty, and uh, as of uh, Friday, Nifty is actually touching the top side of the wedge pattern. 
and uh, this is the most crucial part because uh, listen to this part very carefully because this is going to determine the, whether you need to enter into this particular trade or whether you need to skip this particular trade okay so in case nifty is breaking up on the upper side so in case uh, if nifty is uh, breaking this uh, wedge pattern on the upper side and if it is moving up then this particular pattern is going to be invalid now before uh, going into the pattern i just want to clear a few things nifty is bullish in the in a short term perspective so even though if i am posting this video on the sell side in nifty it is actually mean that overall perspective of nifty is uh, you know downtrend it is not that case nifty is bullish as of now and it is going to be bullish for the coming few weeks and months as well this is only a retracement that we are trying to capture in this particular market okay so this is only a retracement and the overall perspective of nifty is still bullish so that i want to clearly explain to everyone that is watching this video because it is very important because in case if you are watching this video and if you are uh, seeing nifty is uh, you know breaking on the lower side and you are entering into the sell trade then it doesn't mean that nifty has uh, uh, you know taken a turn and it is going to be downside for the coming few weeks no, it is not like that overall perspective on the short term uh, side nifty is bullish there is only a retracement for this uh, previous up move what we faced in nifty okay so that out of the way and uh, in case of nifty breaks on upper side then you need to uh, skip this particular trade because this particular pattern is going to be invalid but what if nifty breaks on the lower side so in case if nifty comes down over here and if it is breaking this uh, wedge pattern on the lower side then this particular pattern is going to be activated and we can take a sell entry somewhere around uh, 90,460. So note this uh, pivot point 90,460 is going to be the pivot point for Nifty sell side and if Nifty is closing below this particular point then the sell side is activated and uh, we are entering into a re uh, retracement phase in Nifty. And this retracement phase is not going to last, uh, you know, last very long because it's going to be only a uh, for a few weeks so i'm expecting maximum period of three to four weeks that is going to be the maximum period that nifty is going to take uh to give a target of almost eighteen thousand eight hundred. okay so now my entry point is determined so in case if nifty comes below this particular point and if it is breaking this wedge pattern on the lower side and if it is closing below the wedge pattern then the sell entry is going to be triggered so coming to the targets my first target is going to be nineteen thousand two fifty. this is going to be my first target and I'm marking this target in green. And my second target is going to be 19,050 over here. And my final target is going to be 18,900. That is the previous all time high. So these are the three targets what I'm facing for Nifty. And uh, in case if Nifty is breaking down on the lower side, I'm looking at a good uh, downfall of almost 570 points. So from 19,460, 570 points is the you know, breaking point what I'm seeing in Nifty. And almost a close to 3% returns is a return on investment I'm expecting out of uh, Nifty in the coming few weeks. So in case if you are, uh, in case of Nifty is breaking down on the lower side and if you want to take the sell trade, then you, there are two options. You can either uh, take it in futures or you can take it in options. So if you are taking it in futures, I would recommend going for the August uh, futures because it'll it's going to give us almost uh, five to six weeks of time uh, till the expiry hits, and uh, that is going to give us a lot of time, ample time for Nifty to come down and give us our targets. So in case if you are going to take for take it in options, then I would recommend going for the two weeks apart expiry. So let's say, uh, for example, Mon uh, Monday Nifty is uh, you no know, gap gap down opening and it is uh, closing below this particular pivot level, then you can take uh then you can take uh thursday that is a 27th of july expiry that is two weeks apart expiry so that you can give nifty enough amount of time uh to come down and uh, touch target one at least so that you can uh, make the good amount of profits from nifty so this is just my recommendation so in case if we want to take it in futures you can take it in futures in case we want to take it in options you can take it in options but please do maintain proper risk management and please do maintain proper money management okay so that's it on the entry and target so coming to the stop loss so in case uh, the previous size is going to be acting as a stop loss so let's take it in the short portion so this is going to be my entry price and uh, right now the previous size is going to be over here so in case if nifty is breaking down and it is not making any new highs then this is going to be my entry point and uh, this is going to be my stop loss so above this particular point so let's say like uh, 
19,590 is going to be the high price and you can keep your stop loss somewhere around 19,016 or 620. So just a little bit above this uh, high price, is gone. you can keep this as a stop loss. And once my first target is done, I'm looking at a comfortable profit of a risk reward of honest to 1.5. So this is going to be the risk reward on the first target. And once my second target is done, I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to 3. Uh, sorry, 1 is to 3. And once my final target is done, I'm looking at a risk reward of 1 is to 4. So for risk of one point, my reward is going to be four points. And that's basically for a stop loss of 145 points, where your target is going to be almost 575 points. So that's the risk reward what I'm expecting, what I'm keeping in Nifty for the coming few weeks. And that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint of Nifty. So I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative things from this video. And if you like my analysis, please do click on the like button. And if you're watching our video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and show us your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video with another exciting stock prediction. Till then, it's Pat from Cruz. Take care, bye-bye, and thank you for watching.